The location manager will sit down with the production designer, the director, and all of the different department heads that need to see these spaces. So it could be the set decorators, all of the people who need to touch this space to make it into the film location. And on some shows, I'm actually in the car with those same designers, producers, it, everybody who's involved because producers' jobs are to compensate. You know, they have to come up with the funds to pay for these places, to rent them. The director has to decide if it provides enough camera angles for this space. Can I capture the character walking in the door safely? Um, the art director is deciding, do we need to paint the walls? What kind of decor should be in the living room? Is it a, what kind of couch? Is it a certain type of couch? What's their style? Is this a high-end property? Is the character wealthy? Is the character low income? And they have to dress the space to match the character's income level, personality, style, whatever it is. And so they all sit and look at my photographs, which is pretty cool. And um, if I... If I use my imagination and I can imagine this texture matches, I basically want them to see the bones. I call it the bones of that location. After they look at the pictures, they really sit around and decide if it is feasible financially, if it is uh, the distance is not too far for the crew to travel to. The traffic outside, for example, might be there are too many trucks that go by and it's just too loud. They have to really go there and see it in person and decide like, oh, you know what? There are too many planes flying over here. We can't use this because now the planes are making noise. And then sometimes you get lucky and it hits everybody's mark. Everybody is happy with every single piece of the location. 